Well, well, folks. It's Beefcake and McGee back here for another video. You guys are having a great day today. Anyways, today is the last day, and I'm going home tomorrow. I have enjoyed my time here, but I've been here since October 11th, and it's November 2nd now. I've had fun, but it's it's just time for me to go home. I miss my horses, I miss my family, I miss my neighbors. I just miss home, so going home tomorrow. I'm, I'm ready. I'm working on some geometry. Similar polygons and triangles. I like algebra one, but I love geometry a lot more. It's just a little bit easier. It's eight o'clock and I've been up for two hours now. I've ran three and a half miles. I'm doing my own laundry. Huh. Yeah, I'm a man, so I do my own laundry. I'm a beefcake! I'm a beef, beef, beef cake. I told my mom, my mom asked me what I wanted for my birthday cake. My birthday's in two days. And I told her, I want a beef cake. She said, that's not a real thing. And I said, yeah, it is. My grandma and grandpa aren't home right now because they had to go to a doctor appointment in Lincoln. So I stayed home so I could work in my school and finish some stuff here. Super excited to go home. Like, you guys didn't know how excited I am to go home. You're usually like, yeah, I don't want to go home. Like when you're going back from a vacation, but I've just been here so long and I've had a good time here, a really good time. And I've experienced a lot of things, but I'm just like, at this point, I just want to go home. I, 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 I want to stay, go home and stay home for the next six months. <laughs> and I'm, just, I'm serious when I say that. I just want to go home. Oh, candy. Since there's nothing to do right now, I finished my school, I ate candy, my grandparents aren't home yet, I have no access to, I can't get to the farm unless I want to ride my bike five miles. I've done that before, it's not very fun, up and down hills, ugh. Anyways, so I thought I'd come outside in the garage and show you my truck. Me and my grandpa are sharing it right now until it's his truck until I can drive and then it's going to be mine. I know I showed you guys a little bit of it, but I thought I'd show you guys a little bit more. I don't know if I showed you guys the outside, but this is my truck. It's a uh, 2000, I think it's a 2010 or 11 Ford F-150 FX4, four-wheel drive. Um, it's white and it's got the half back door, which I, I've told you guys, I don't really love that. Um, but the condition that this truck is in is very good. Um, like, there is no rust under here at all, anywhere under this thing. There's just no, there's not even hardly any surface rust. And that's simply because it's, it's been kept in this garage its entire life. Um, yeah, it's in really, really good condition. Oh, we got some brush back there right now, but it's got the bed liner in it. It's got these little rack things right here. Um, it's got a six and a half foot bed. It's pretty long. The keyless entry right there. It's got some nice running boards. It's got nice leather seats on the inside and they're really nice. Really good condition for how old it is, really. I thought you were pretty comfortable. Um, it has, I th it has 84, 84,000 miles on it, which is, it's honestly not very many. I was looking for something that's under 100,000 miles, so it'll last me a while. And it has 80,000 miles on it, but it's, it has condition, it's in the condition of a car with 20,000 miles on it, and it's hardly had any issues with it. So, you know, with my luck, I'll probably get it in and have tons of issues, but. We were think me and my grandpa are talking maybe next summer when um when we come back for Branson when we go to Branson next year I might we might take this back to New Hampshire. I won't be able to drive yet but it'll be only a few months until I can for and it even has a sunroof. That's that's fancy smancy. I'm just just a few months from now and then I'll be can drive. My birthday is in two days and then six months from then I can start driving.
When doing stuff like that, I always wish it looked as cool as it feels when you're doing it. I don't know. That's just super fun. This is probably not the safest thing in the world. So what I do is I, I set my camera up right there, I drive across the road, I go over there, I go back to the tree line, and then I come up and get some speed and about third gear so you get, you get a good pop off this jump right here. Pop and land over there. It's actually pretty fun, but there is a danger of cars coming but there's not very many cars in here right now and I always check to make sure there's no cars coming before I go. I got my bike now, KLX 110. I would like a little bigger one, but I hardly ever come here, so it is it is what it is, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try jumping on this. I didn't have very good luck with this the other day. I don't know if it's just because I wasn't being aggressive enough or not, what? I see that it's not, it wasn't a combine it was a big fertilizer spreader John Deere I think a 40 46 R or something there you go spreading fertilizer that's all fertilizer coming out of the back this field is the same field that I was riding in that combine the other day right up there this was a field of white corn not a lot of people that plant white corn around here I just think they're not it's the nearest places to haul it are like St. Joe in Kansas City. There's that spreader again. It actually looks like they have another spreader. I'm pretty sure that's Brewers. So I stopped here on the side of the road because there's a combine out there and I was watching it. I checked my gas tank. It's, it's, it's almost dry so I'm not that far from home. I'm only like a mile. So hopefully I can make it back home. And then I and I have a reserve too, so I, I'm not too worried, but <laughs> I was like, oh no! But I think I can make it back. Yeah, if I shake it, I can hear it a little bit. Grandpa, I ran out of gas! It is just such a beautiful day out today, I have to admit. Just beautiful. They have a Matthew Ferguson combine and they're unloading onto, it looks like a Brent, oh, maybe a thousand bushel grain cart on a vent, or I mean, a, I think it's a Challenger um, by Agco. Pretty high yielding corn, because they've unloaded six times. I think they're just unloading up there, that bin right there. Not that tall thing. I think that tall thing's part of a water tower. I've been fooling around for the past hour and a half, but I suppose by him pulling this out of the shed means that I'm supposed to take it back to the timber, so. Now I better get going before I get yelled at. <laughs> Corona. Okay, for this thing, you gotta push the clutch in. No. Nope. Make sure it's in neutral. So me and Grandpa just finished the trail, and I'm gonna show you guys it. It's nice, you can do a whole big loop. It's honestly really cool. And we've been working on it for a few weeks now, so it's nice to have it done. It's, it's been a lot of work, but. Made a big brush pile, got some firewood out of it. It's a good, it's a good project after we got done with this harvest. I'm glad I was able to help, it was really fun.
I gotta get the dirt bike because we're putting it in the storage shed because when I'm not here, nobody rides this stuff, so we put it in our storage container so the mice don't get it. the gas off. See you next time I come here. I wish I could drive that thing. And I'll see you later, Gator. <laughs> Jeez, man, it's getting dark outside already. Literally, it's already getting dark outside. It is only 5.15. I think the worst thing ever invented in the history of the world is fall back. When you come home from school, especially when I used to go to school, when you would come home, you would have like 30 minutes to an hour, and in the middle of winter, you'd come home and it'd be already dark. Which, th this is just absolutely ridiculous, because there's not very much you can do at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning when you're going to work. So, and when you come home, you want to go outside and do something, or do something productive, but no, it's already dark. And then you feel like it's already 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock if you're going to bed when you get home. It's ridiculous. I hate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tomorrow morning, I'm headed to the airport, and I am going home. I am super excited to go home, honestly. I've had a good time here, and I've had a lot of fun, and I'm glad we got that trail done, and... I love helping with harvest and seeing all the combines and stuff, but that's all wrapping up and I'm just ready to go home. So anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Roll the outro. You know, one thing that I am going to miss about being here is Go Go Grape Kids Suave Shampoo and Conditioner. <sighs> that smells just the smell of grape. Oh my God.